Hey, it's KevTech here bringing you another video on IT. We're on the topic of getting back to basics. So today I want to go over on the easy stuff. So we're going to go over Internet Explorer and Chrome and Edge. How to factory reset Chrome, how to factory reset Edge, how to factory reset IE. Basically it means is to like clean it up and make it better so you don't have issues with any of these web browsers. But also I'm going to show you how to clear cookies and cache as well, which basically means that Whenever you browse on a lot of websites, it stores a cookie or it stores data on your on your web browser. So it remembers you when you log in for the first time. When you log in anytime, like if you go to chase.com, it remembers your, your username and password. If you log in on YouTube, it remembers your username and password. So I'm not sure how to clear that out. Cause sometimes if you if you have if you have a lot of data lingering around or a lot of cookies and cache or history browser history lingering around on your browsers then you'll have issues with the websites you can't access certain websites first thing you will want to do is just clear your cookies and cache so I'm gonna go over that real quick on IE first so we're gonna go to the home page we're gonna hit tools we're gonna hit internet options and then here is the delete section and you want to what you want to do is you want to delete everything from it so it says here what it does. It clears your cookies, clears your history, and clears your password. So I'm gonna do that, um, and that would that should clear everything up. And then you want to factory reset. You go to re restore advanced settings, and you hit reset, delete personal settings, restart, reset, hit close, hit close, and then you just close out of IE, and that's it. And that's how you would factory reset um, IE. So I'm just gonna shut this off. Also, one more thing before I show you, before I close out of it. Um, if you go to internet options, and for example, you want a website to be your default website, so it could open up every time. Like you want google.com, you can just put google.com, and then use use um, use uh, default. So, so you go to google.com, and I believe it's, well, you can't do it this way. I'll show you right now. So we just go to Google.com, for example, and you want this as a default browser, and then you could do it there. So just use default Google.com. Hit OK, close out of it, reopen it again, and it should go to Google.com. So I'm just gonna shut this off. I'm just gonna move, I'm gonna get rid of that for a second. So here we're on Chrome. On Chrome, it would be the right hand side. You see the little three dots. You hit, you hit your settings button. Um. The easiest way to do this is if you type history and then here clear browser history and just clear everything. You want to clear all time and then clear data and then that's it. And then if you want if you want a website to open up every time you open up Chrome, you go back into the three dots, you hit settings. And here you would you would go into your basically your Chrome tab, which is right here. It says continue where you left off or open a specific set page. So you you can add a new page or use current page, which is there's no actual current page. So I'm just gonna go to Google.com and click on that and then use current page. So I'll use Google.com going forward. And you could edit or remove it. And that's basically how you do it on Chrome. Then for Edge, it's pretty much the same thing. Um Hit the little three dots. And you hit your settings tab. You hit import, clear data, clear browser data, and you can just clear everything. And you hit clear, and then that's it. You have the advanced settings as well. You can change where it downloads, where files download when you download stuff on the, on the website. Manage passwords, entries, export, import book data, which basically is your history, your book history. Um, and that's about it. If you want to factory reset Chrome, you would go scroll all the way down, all the way to the advanced. And you have reset to original settings or clean up my computer. And basically this will clean up your computer, remove anything that's harmful to the web browser. But I would recommend restoring. And if that doesn't work, I recommend hitting the help button. 
hitting about Chrome. And basically, when you hit help and about Chrome, it checks for updates on Chrome. And uh, that's about it. That's how you would, that's how you would uh, clear cookies and cache and history, browser history on IE, Chrome, and Edge. Now, if you want to go to the new IE, because that, that one I had before is kind of kind of old. It's the same thing. You hit the little gear, internet options, delete, check everything, advanced, same thing, reset, restore. If you want to, if you want, if you want the homepage to open a, just a blank tab, it will do that. If you want to use a default, it will use a default. If you want to use a current page, so if you want to go to like Google.com, which I did before, you could do that. You go to Google.com, and you could close out of this one, and then you hit Internet Options again, and use current page, and it will it will open that up going forward. And that's about it. And if you want to, if you want to bookmark on any of these web browsers, you just Hit the little bookmark there, add to favorite. So like if I want to add like LinkedIn to a professional website, you just add to favorites, add. If I, if I want to, if I want to close out, that should be fine. If I want to do the same thing for a web, for a specific website, like youtube.com, it would be the little star over here and then you, and then you hit done. And then if you want to access your bookmarks, you just hit the little bookmarks tab right here on the right hand side and you could access all your bookmarks. If you do it on edge it's the same thing so you would go into like let's just do a LinkedIn uh, go to LinkedIn the little star again hit add and then here you could access all your favorites you go to your favorites tab and just hit the favorites tab and it'll, it'll go to, it'll go right away to that page and that's about it so basically I went over favorites cookies and cash web browser factory reset in Chrome Factory resetting IE and clearing cookies and cache on Edge. And that's all I wanted to show you. This is just a basic video on dealing with those web browsers. Hope everyone has a great night and have a good day. Take care.